ho, ho, gamers and gamer readers, it's that time of year again! It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's to quote the most a song. Wonderful time of the We're not getting sued. No, it's not. E3 is the most wonderful time of the year. But it's the second most wonderful time of the year. And it's Christmas. I hear those sleigh bells ringling, jing, jing, jingling, jang. So, as it is the festive season, and as gift giving and present performing is one of the major parts of Christmas, I've decided today I'm going to dedicate this video to an entire unboxing of stuff. So I'm going to give you a bit of a context as to why I have stuff to open in the first place. As you might know, I'm going on a bit of a journey. To get more involved with beauty and cosmetics and fashion and all that good stuff. But the only problem with that is I don't have the funds really to be able to facilitate that. I can't go out to the shop and pick up all of the new products that I like because I would be in debt and I wouldn't be able to pay my rent and it just would it wouldn't be a good situation. So, with that said, I kind of took it upon myself to reach out to some brands that I really like the look of and that I kind of connected with and I thought they were cool. So I contacted them like, hey, I don't even have 10k subscribers, but I'm doing this thing and you want to kind of like collab? And I'm going to be brutally honest, about 95% of them didn't even get back to me, but that's fine. I kind of knew that would happen. You're following. Your subscriber count numbers mean a massive deal to brands and it makes sense because they're only really going to give stuff to the people that have masses of followers because that means their product gets out to all that massive following. So that makes sense, that's fine. But surprisingly, a handful of brands did actually get back in touch with me and did agree to send me some things and I was a bit like, what? Super stoked about that because it kind of feels to me like they looked past the numbers and they saw me. That's the reason why I have been sent some things. I will be testing them out and later on I will be giving reviews on them, but today I will just be doing an unboxing because there's a fair few things to get through. Just a disclaimer as well for the future when I do do these reviews, just because I have been sent things, it does not mean at all that I'm just going to be giving five stars, 10 out of 10, this is great, that's great, everything's great for the sake of it. Like, there's no point in doing a review if that's the case. I'm gonna be brutally honest. If something doesn't work for me or I don't like something, I'm gonna tell you guys. But I'm not gonna be mean about it. I'm not just gonna be like, this is shit, don't buy this. Because what doesn't work for me necessarily might work for someone else. You never know these things. So I will be just giving a, an honest opinion because that's what a review is, you know? So yeah, I'm just kind of putting it out there. Just because I've been sent stuff doesn't mean I'm gonna love them, you know? All right, I've rambled enough. Let's get into the opening of the things. So this is the first package and you might be wondering, Lucy, that's a bag. How did you get sent this? And you would be right in thinking that I didn't get sent this. I actually went for a meeting with the person behind the brand Vanderho. Vanderho? I still don't know how to pronounce it. I went for a meeting with somebody from this company and she was an absolutely lovely lady. I had a lovely, lovely chat with her and she was wonderful. And she kind of explained all about the brand. It's quite an encouraging and optimistic story behind it, to be honest. It's about how Vanderho started off as a blog and then the person behind the blog um, was pregnant and then she ha started having all these allergies and she went on this amazing journey basically to create her own serum out of the most amazing ingredients and it's completely eco-friendly. It's just such an amazing story. This little bottle is getting cult status. The top magazines have kind of latched onto it because it only launched this year. It only launched back in February so it hasn't even been going a year yet and already it's won like six beauty awards and yeah people are just going nuts for it so I'm very honored to be able to try this out at such an early stage you know has a little gold thing on the back like a little gold sticker it's so lovely i don't want to open it like look how gorgeous this box is it's so beautiful i i, I don't want to ruin it you know i'm definitely keeping that bag as well it's so adorable so adorable how am i gonna open this without like ruining this box man how am i gonna do it i don't know how i'm gonna do it damn you lovely bottle damn you oh it's okay it's one of those stickers that kind of comes off in one go. Bosh! Results! I didn't break it, I didn't ruin anything. That is such a first. So this is the first time I've opened this. Um, I went for the meeting a couple of weeks back and I still haven't touched it yet. This is a proper first impressions. Carefully taking it out. 
it's got a little, it's actually got like a manual with it. How many times do you get a product, like a face product, and you get a full on manual? That's crazy, that's so cool. So here is the product itself. Oh, it reminds me of like something like eye drops, kind of. Oh wow, look at that. It's even got like a hand-drawn signature and a date on it. I think that's when it was made. Yeah, that must have been when it was made. Carefully blended, date 11-17, B23, is that batch 23 maybe? That's a, that's such a personal touch. How cool is that? So this is the bottle, Vanero number one nourishing face serum. This is the 10 milliliter bottle. You can get a bigger version. Got like a pipette screw off top here. So I'm just gonna screw it off. Now, not only is this meant to be amazing for your skin, obviously, but it's also meant to have elements of aromatherapy. So it actually is meant to smell amazing and calm you down and just put you in this zen mind frame, which I'm all about. Imagine putting that on and massaging it in before you go to bed and inhaling all the goodness and just feeling proper chilled. Oh, it's got a very rich yellow color. I'm gonna give it a sniff. Oh my God, oh my God. You can tell that is like entirely natural. That doesn't smell chemically at all. That just smells so wonderfully fresh. I am stoked. I'm so excited to use this, especially during the winter as well. You don't really want to be using light things on your face. You want to really give your skin some moisture. So that is why I am stoked for Vandero oil. I want to take a look at this manual. Ooh. Oh, is this a map? <gasps> it's a map. Oh yeah, of course, wow. So this is very interesting actually. There is a hand-drawn map of the world, as you can see, and there's little pointers on here, like number points of where all of the ingredients actually come from. And then there's such lovely drawings on the back because, you know, if you think of like, so there's frankincense in here and, you know, people know what frankincense is, but they might not necessarily know what it looks like. So I think the, the drawings on the back there are super, super handy. And it's just a nice little touch, isn't it? It's a nice little touch. It's like video game manuals. I miss having video game manuals. It just adds something a little bit extra and a little bit special to it. So that was the Van der Rohe face serum. Thank you so much guys at Van der Rohe. I'm well excited to give that a try. And uh, my review will of course be coming very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that. I'm just gonna give it one more sniff. One more sniff and then I'll be done. Oh my God, that smells so good. Which one shall I go for next? I think I'm gonna go for this one. Feels like a, some sort of bottle, quite a tall bottle. Maybe something to do with hair. Let's rip it open and find out what is inside, da da da. Ooh, it's like a mousse. This is the Waterless Zero, Zerao, Hair Care Innovation Towel Off Shampoo Foam. Oh yes, 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 I remember these guys. So this is actually something that is, not only do I want to try it, but it kind of is something that's a little bit more personal to me as well. The reasoning behind this product is it's kind of dry shampoo. No, no, it's not dry shampoo because it's not like a an aerosol, it's an actual mousse. So you like pump it into your hair, onto your scalp and rub it in, and then you towel dry it off and it basically shampoos your hair without the need of getting into a, a shower or a bath, so it's it's waterless shampoo, basically. So the reason why this is actually something that I really inherently want to try is because when I was growing up through my teenage life and I was diagnosed with liver disease and I was in and out of hospital all the time and I was going to consultants and I was going miles away to specialist hospitals, I was like so scared at times and I didn't wanna go and leave my bed to go and shower, you know, I was so petrified. And there were moments after like an operation or like a biopsy that I was in pain and I couldn't get out of bed to go and wash my hair. So something like this would have been a lifesaver back then. Just a personal little anecdote there as to why I really wanted to try this out and why I kind of wanted to spread the word about it because I had no idea something like this even existed. I thought you had like dry shampoo, like Batiste, the stuff that you spray in with like an aerosol thing. But I didn't know a foam existed. Yeah, I'm really intrigued to try that. And it's in coconut as well. It has a coconut smell. I love coconut. Yeah, that's really cool. Thank you guys at Zero. Zero, I can't pronounce things. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's other things. Oh my God, what's this? They've sent me like a little eye thing. Oh my 
god! They've sent me some eye pigment! How cute! It's called Eye Blast and it's in a very like royal coral blue. That's amazing! Thank you guys! That's from Cheer Cosmetics. Oh, yay! I love that! It's a nice little touch. Oh my god! There's more! There's more eye things, guys! <gasps> Look at that! I've got a green, I've got a purple, and I've got a blue. Oh my god! Yay! Eye things, eye things, I love eye things. And then there's also another product from Zarao. Um, let's have a look. What is this? Oh my god, they do a body wash as well. Dude, how cool is that? So not only can your hair be fresh and washed and hygienic, your body can as well. So the towel off body wash foam cleans and refreshes without water. So what you do is you Generously apply this to the body, gently massage to release the dirt and odours and whilst it's still soapy, thoroughly towel dry or wipe clean with a tissue. Like there are some brands out there that, you know, do things for the sake of like looking good or whatever but this is something that is seriously cool, like seriously helpful to people that struggle with this, with this kind of stuff. So yes, well done Zarao. And not only that, not only for the serious side but imagine how cool these are for when you're at a festival or when you're camping or when you don't really have access to a shower. You can literally just pop it on your air, psh, 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 pop it on your pits, psh, 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 and you're good to go without any water. Loving that, loving it. And the fact that I got three eye pigments as well. Yes, yes. Okay, what have we got next? Urgent samples, it says on it. I don't know who this is. I don't know who it is. It's just urgent. Urgent samples. I'm slicing it open, break into it and see what's inside. Oh, I see pink. I see pink. I'm happy because I'm wearing pink today. Pink tissue paper, is that? Oh, it looks glittery. Glittery and pink. I love this. Look, glittery pink tissue paper. This is everything. This looks like a, oh, tea zone. Oh, wonderful. They've sent me their charcoal range. Yes. So this first one is the charcoal and bamboo deep cleansing face scrub, mineral oil free, deep cleanses pores from impurities for clearer skin. Oh, there's just a random little star on it as well. Oh, can I put that on my cheek? Oh yay, got a little star. That's probably gonna fall off very soon. So I used to suffer from acne, terrible, terrible acne. I'm gonna put up a picture here so you can see that I am not lying. Like my acne was bad. Luckily, since I've got further and further into my adult years, it's not quite as bad anymore, but I do still suffer from breakouts now and then, especially when I am stressed. And I can get very greasy sometimes, like my T-zone and my jawline especially. So the fact that I've been given a whole T-zone range, you know T-zone are like known for acne blemish ranges and stuff and their tea tree stuff. This is really, really cool and really han handy and something that I will probably get quite a lot of use out of. We've got the face scrub and I think there are some more things in here. Let's have a gander. Oh, there's loads of these little stars. Yes. I'm just gonna keep putting the stars on my face as I find them. So festive. Oh, something feels like, like material. <gasps> what is this? What is this? Oh, it's a little pouch. Mate, there are so many stars coming out of this thing. So, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, my bed is just gonna be full of stars. You know what, that's actually gonna be really handy for like when I'm going traveling and I need a little toiletries bag. I don't actually have one, I don't have a toiletries bag so all of my stuff is just like going everywhere around my suitcase so that's really cool. Oh there's more goodies inside here, I've got no strips. I really like the T-Zone no strips, they feel so good. You rip them off and you just feel like all of your pores get attached to the strip. It's so satisfying, honestly. It's kind of gross, but it's really satisfying. Yes, unclog them pores, unclog them. There's so many stars. Oh my, starry eyes surprise. Summer into sunrise, dance all night. We're gonna dance all night, dance all night to this DJ. Oh, are these makeup wipes? Cleansing wipes, yeah boy. I love cleansing wipes. I've actually run out of them. Do they remove makeup? Yes, they do. T-Zone charcoal and bamboo black, black cleansing wipes. Have you ever seen such a thing? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, they're black. No, that's so cool, that's so, I'm 
I'm like nearly crying. Why am I so amazed by black cleansing wipes? Why am I getting emotional though? Why? <laughs> This is so freaking cool, man. Effectively clean skin, remove makeup residue instantly and absorb dirt and excess oil. But they're black. They're black cleansing wipes. What is happening? This is wicked, man. Ah, oh, T-zone. Oh, there's another thing. No shine papers. Oh, like little blotting things. I've never used blotting papers before. So I, I don't really have anything to compare these to, I guess, but I'm still well excited to try them. Um, and I do get quite shiny throughout the day after it's been a long day. You know, you've been wearing your makeup for like nine hours and you've been quite warm. The whole idea behind them is you're just gonna like dab them on like your shiny spots and it just absorbs the oil and it won't smudge makeup apparently. Wicked. Thank you, T-Zone. Look at this. Things, all the things. No, that is cool. Black cleansing wipes though. I can't get over it. Oh my God, I missed. There's something else inside the box. There's something else in here, guys. Ah, cool. So this one is the black peel off mask. I usually use clay masks from various people like Lush. And um, there's another one called like deep sea mud mask or something. So I love, I love face masks. I love doing a face mask cleanse on Sunday, you know, you're having like a little pamper day. I'm assuming this is like a tube of it. So you maybe get more than one use out of it. Yeah, it's a little tube. That's cool. It contains Alan to Toin. Who's Alan Toin? Who's that? <laughs> Thank you so much T-Zone for sending me that range. I am very, very excited to try that. Of course, like I said at the start, I will be doing a review. I'll do a full review of the range of that. Now I know why they were urgent samples. I've been eyeing this one up for a while, as you can see, because it's well shiny. I'm keeping this packaging. This is seriously like Chris. It's like I'm having Christmas by myself in my room. Hello darkness, my old friend. This feels like a lot of little things. So I'm just kind of gonna reach in there without looking. This feels like there's a zip on it. Oh my God, how cute is that? Okay, so this is from Shine Shack. Shine Shack. That's the most freaking adorable little pouch. Look at that though. It's like a freaking mermaid's holographic dream. That's so cute. It's not big, it's quite quite relatively small, but it's, it's a cute little like coin purse that, isn't it? Or if you have some like small travel um, makeup or like if you wanna carry around your eye glitters. I don't know, that could be used for numerous things, but I love it. <gasps> okay, I have a feeling this package is gonna be good. We have face gems, people. We have face gems. Face and body gems, sorry. Oh my gosh. They are amazing. They are so cool. I've actually recently just kind of got into face gems and I actually wore face gems at my work's Christmas party and I they just add an extra element of like va va voom and, and extraness. I'm gonna have to do a makeup look or something with this. Love it. And I think there is another little similar one to this. I can feel it. Yes! Oh, different colors though. We've got blues, golds, pinks. Lovely. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. This is honestly like my own personal Christmas. This is so much fun. Oh, oh, they've got brushes. They've got brushes, man. We have a Shine Shack eye brush, I guess. This might be used for, maybe I have a feeling there might be some glitters in here maybe. And this is maybe specifically for applying glitters. It's pink and it's got a green ombre effect. Um, what they called it at the top? Fur? No, it's not fur. Hair? Brush. Whatever. It's nice. Oh, we got a little handwritten note. Hi, Angel. We hope you enjoy your sparkles and can't wait to see the magical looks you create. Oh, handwritten notes are so lovely to get. Thank you guys at Shine Shack. I still haven't finished. There's still a lot more to kind of get into here. Oh, we've got a Shine Shack business card. Available for festivals, club nights and events worldwide hand mixed glitter and festival makeovers. Oh, whoa, look at that logo. Whoa, what is that? It's a little clip, but it's like an angel wing. Holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, there's another one. I can do the other side. Oh my gosh. 
Kind of looks like it needs to be like that, maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to do this for the rest of the video now. How cute are they? They're giving me mad Hermes vibes from, um, from Hercules. Disney's Hercules Hermes. Ooh. Oh, wow. So I thought this was gonna be a nail polish, but it's actually stick and fix. Perfect for sticking gems to the face and body. So it's a glitter gel. It's like a glue or a gel. But that will be mad easy, won't it? To stick things to your face. What else have we got? Okay, so these last ones are little pots. Ooh, what's this? It's a tin. Oh, we've got another glitter fix. Wait, so what was this one? Oh, so this was like a gem fix. So this is maybe specifically for the gems, like the bigger, chunkier gems. And then this one is glitter fix, maybe for more fine glitter. Oh, it's a balm. Ah. Nope, doesn't smell of anything. I don't know why I expected it to smell of anything. So we've got two different formulas for two different things. I did not expect this at all. This is amazing. Oh, so now I'm picking out the glitters. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The first one I picked up is this little pink one. Pixie Cosmetic Glitter. And it's like circular or maybe like hectagons. It's pink, but then when it hits the light, it's kind of got a green iridescent feel. Very similar to the pouch. Very similar to this one. So that is the first glitter. Oh. I'm already considering like the looks I'm gonna create from this and I'm very, very excited. The second one is like a mishmash of colors and no, it's like a silver, but again, like that holographic sheen and it's got all different shapes in it. It's got stars, hexagons, diamonds, and that is called the Starlight Cosmetic Glitter. Very, very nice. I am so excited, guys. You have no idea. Christmas day, just picture it picture the glitter and the gems coming from my face on Christmas day. So this is the same setup as the silver one, but it's gold. Um, so it has the like diamonds and the stars and stuff. And that's treasure. And that is the gold one. And finally we have, is that blue? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. Is that blue or what? That's very mermaidy. It's like blues, greens, a hint of purple, hint of silver. And that's called Comet. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Shine Shack. I am going to create some magical things out of those. I'm going to have a definite think about like the types of video game characters or video game themes I can do with those glitters. I feel, em why am I emotional? <laughs> why am I emotional? We've got three left, three, oh, that's four. Three to go. And we've got this black box here. Ta-da! It's got like a custom sticker on it and it says toiletry or medicinal aerosols. Is someone sending me drugs? Let's open it up and see what's inside. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I've got like shredded black paper in this one now. Look at this. And there's like some little patterned tissue paper. Oh, it's got raindrops on it. <gasps> Percy and Reed, yay! Oh, lovely. So these guys are a hair care company and they're based in London. And um, they have, uh, they actually caught my eye in a magazine I was reading. It might've been like Glamour or Vogue or something. And I saw that they were in there under like some sort of hair care getting ready thing. Anyway, and I'd never heard of them before. So I went home and I researched them and I really liked the ideas. I liked their products and I just got in touch. And thankfully they were one of the people that replied to me. So th sorry, I've just opened this without even telling you what it is. This is a walk in the rain, shine and fragrance mist. And it has a little quote on there that says divine shine, heaven scent, as in like scent, as in like smell. To get it, puns. This bright, delicate fragrance evokes the scent of garden flowers freshly misted by rain. Oh, darling, that language though. It's come in an aerosol can. It just feels like it's been thought about as well. It feels like sort of expensive and luxury almost. Ooh. Ooh, that does smell nice. So you shake the can mist lightly onto dry styled hair. So it smells amazing and gives you dazzling shine. Yeah, so it's kind of like a, a perfume and a shine booster. Am I doing this right? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it actually does have some hints of like grass, you know, like freshly mown grass. I can smell that, you know. Oh, yeah. 
I really like that, you know, because it doesn't smell artificial. It genuinely smells like I've been rolling around in like fresh grass. That sounds weird, but it smells really nice. It smells super, super fresh. Again, a review will be coming of these. I've got so many reviews to do. <laughs> Not enough time. <laughs> so many reviews. There's more things. There's more things. You know what I also love? I love the illustrations on here. It's like black and white sketches of women and then like hints of color. Done very delicately and intricate. I like that a lot. This is the perfectly perfecting wonder bomb. On the box it says, I believe in miracles. Let's have a cheeky gander at this guy. Wonder bomb. Right, I'm gonna read out exactly what it says on the back because I love it. This is, as they say, the cream de la cream. <laughs> a miracle leave-in balm to be exact, which helps give you deep breath, moisture, shine, smoothness, definition, softness, light hold, high humidity protection and manageability, or short version, all you need for beautiful, healthy looking and flawless hair. Perfect. I love the way that's been written. That's so cool. You need to apply a small amount of towel dried hair working from roots to ends to prep for styling. Lovely. Yay, I'm so excited to test this out. This still feels quite heavy. Percy and Reed, what have you sent me? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now this I am intrigued about. This is the Wonder Treatment Oil. Oh, I love a hair oil. I, I, I love a hair oil. They, it makes the world of difference. Oh, oh, it's in a lovely glass bottle. Largy da very, very expensive feeling. Although I am a bit scared about that because I had a hair oil in the bathroom once and I dropped it because I'm a klutz and it smashed everywhere. I'm gonna take very special care of this. I'm gonna like lock it away in a box after each use. It kind of looks very like watery. It doesn't really look like the, the consistency of an oil. Percy and Reed, Percy and Reed. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, I completely missed the Percy and Reed sticker on the box. God, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Come on, come on, come to Papa. Oh, we've got a conditioner. So I assume this is all perfectly perfecting because it says that on everything. So this is what their conditioner looks like. And this guy is gentle, hair type responsive, color protection. Oh, color protection, that's good because I now have fluorescent yellow hair. It has environmental defense, moisture balancing, reconditioning. Mate, there is a lot going on with this range. I've kind of been sent one of everything. I've been sent something for my face, something for my hair, some cosmetics and gems and like a whole facial treatment range. I can kind of do a review all in one week. Time saving. Come on, come out. Ta-da. And that is, I'm assuming this is gonna be a shampoo. It's a shampoo. So I have a full hair range. I've got a shampoo, I've got a conditioner, I've got a balm, I've got an oil, and I have got a mist. Which by the way, still smells amazing. Yay! We're on the second to last box now. And it is like an actual full on box. So, ooh, I see hearts. Not like a full on cardiovascular heart, but like little, little of hearts. Oh, oh, there's a picture. Who's this? Look, I've got a little picture here, look. How cute is that? It's like a massive Polaroid. And this says, oh, it's from Eilur. I, I totally butchered that. Ilo, Ilo, Ilur, Ilo. It says, hi Lucy, I hope you love everything inside. If you need anything else, please let me know. I like those ladies on the front, they're very lovely ladies. And then we've got a nice handwritten note on the back. Thank you guys at Isla. Let's have a look inside. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the packaging of these things though? How cute is that? I'm gonna be keeping all of this and reusing it for sure. So we've got some nice love heart tissue paper there. Oh. My. God. These guys have sent me a lot of things. Oh. My. God. Are we serious? Is this for real? Oh. Oh my God. They have sent me so much stuff. The, look, look at the depth of this box as well. I, why am I gonna cry? Why am I crying though? 
Holy shit, that's amazing. I can't even get over that. I'm literally shell shocked. Dude, okay, I'm running out of battery on my on my microphone, so I need to get through it, but I can't believe that. Isla, oh my god. So for a bit of context on this, I got in touch with them um, literally because of the false eyelash situation. So I struggle with putting false eyelashes on and I know a lot of women out there do as well. It's really finicky and hard and then your eyelash just falls off halfway through the night and it's really difficult. And I wanna really learn how to put them on because I love them, I love false lashes. I've just never really been able to use them. So I kind of got in touch like, do you wanna help me out and give me some falsies so I can kind of show if I can put them on, like anyone can put them on basically. And they're like, yeah, we'll send you a few things. I thought they were gonna send me like one false eyelash pair. And they sent me all of this. Shit, son. <laughs> we better start getting through all this. Okay, we'll go through like the lashes first and then we'll get on to the other goodies. So first up, these look very feathery and very nice. These are the Lux Cameo lashes. A soft and luxurious three quarter lash designed to kick out at the corner and elongate the eye. These are also from the Lux range and these are solitaire, but these ones are a full lash, not three quarters. They look gorgeous. Like, I, luckily I really like my lashes and I think I have pretty all right lashes. There's just something about falsies. When they're done right and they're not too, you know, like a block of Sharpie on your lid, they look amazing. Oh my God. So this one is the, the wispy edition. Um, Enchanted after dark, hashtag who needs a prince, lashes, feather light feel, reu reusable as well, reusable. This is amazing. I'm so happy guys. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Oh, these are dramatic. These are the most wanted hashtag feed the need. Want it, have it. This sumptuous style will elongate your eye with lacy loveliness. Whoa. They are some hardcore lashes. They are full on like, I came to slay the party lashes. <laughs> so many lashes, <laughs> so many. <gasps> There's so many in here, I can't get over it. I can't get over it, I can't get over it. This is amazing. Oh, these are very dainty. These are the Isla and Cheryl first date lashes. Oh, they're so cute. We have got the three dimensional um, number 119 lash. There's literally every style of lash you could ever want in this box. I am gonna be spoiled for lashes. Who needs mascara, man? Another Cheryl pair. Sexy senorita. Woo. I'm not even gonna have time to go through all of these. There's so many. There's so many. There's another enchanted one. These are really cool because they're like crisscrossy. Okay, I'm gonna quickly hop onto the other things because they've sent me some other stuff as well. They've sent me a brow pomade in uh, blonde. Brow control and shape gel. My brows, man. They have a mind of their own. They're just all over the place. So brow gel is always good to have. Oh, we've got brow paint. I've never heard of brow paint. I've heard of a pomade and I've heard of gels. I've heard of like pencils, but I've never heard of a paint before. Again, this is in blonde, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be my shade, but I might give that a try anyway, just because I'm intrigued by the paint side of things. We've got the brow palettes. Ooh girl. Um, I'm assuming that has maybe some shadows, maybe a cream in there. Let's, can I open this and see? I think I'm going to rip the box. So I'm just going to leave that for now, but we've got the brow palette. That's also in blonde. The precision, precision brow crayons. It, oh, it has a little spoolie on it and no need to sharpen. Yes. I mean, who has a sharpener anymore? Can we just like take a moment? Like I've already gone through so much stuff. There is still like layers of lashes. <laughs> Layers of lashes to go. Brow contour. Brow contour? How can you contour your brows? Two in one, color and highlighter. Oh, so that maybe goes underneath the brow for a little bit of a, a light lighting effect. Yes, because I do that with my like powder highlighters anyway. And then we've got a brow pencil on this side. There's so many, I never even knew there was this many brow products. So I'm just gonna kind of show them now because there's so many. <laughs> Woo! 
And there's still more stuff at the bottom. Got the Brow Amplifier Number 30 Blonde Brow Fiber Gel for long lasting intense color. That reminds me of the Benefit uh, Gimme Brow stuff. And finally, the Brow Tame and Define Wax. I've actually bought this in the past. This is really good because I have very hairy brows. You know, some people have eyebrows and they are really like delicate and thin and it's barely like you have hair there. Mine are the opposite, mine are rigorous. So taming them with this stuff is really good. I've actually used this in the past and I like it a lot. Holy shit, I can't get over that. I'm just looking at this pile of Isla stuff now and I'm just in shock. Thank you guys so much, that's incredible. I am shocked. Oh, I forgot there's another box. Okay, we are on to the last box. Let's do it because my camera is flashing red because there's no more battery left. <laughs> oh, me, what is this? What is this? I see a PlayStation thing. I see a PlayStation thing. <laughs> what on earth? <gasps> it's a PlayStation cap. Oh my God, PlayStation thing. PlayStation things! Stop everything, PlayStation things. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god! What is this? <gasps> I've wanted this cap for ages. Oh my god, it's the since 1994 PlayStation DualShock hat. I love this so much because it says since 1994 and that's my birth year. That's when I was born. Holy crap, that's so cool. That's so freaking cool. Oh my god. Yes! This has been the best day ever. And I've also got these. <gasps> Are these the leggings? Oh my God. Guys, guys, it's the leggings. It's the leggings. It's the leggings. <laughs> these are also another thing that I've wanted for ages, but I just never got around to buying. It's the PlayStation DualShock original freaking leggings. <sighs> this is so cool. Holy shit. What is this? What is this? I've never seen this before in my life. It's like um, it's like a track jacket. Oh my god! Oh, it feels so soft. I'm, I'm shook. I'm legitimately shook. This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh my god! How cool! I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put this on. Oh yeah. Can't touch me, can't touch me. In my PlayStation jacket, uh-huh. I think it's Gamerabilia because I did get in touch and we had a little chat with Gamerabilia. If this is from you, Adam, thank you so much. This is wicked cool. Wicked! I feel so boss in this. Oh my God, this is so freaking cool. So there we have it, that is my festive unboxing. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And for the companies that sent me stuff, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for seeing beyond the subscriber numbers and helping me out and uh, putting your trust in me because I'm completely humbled and I think I'm gonna cry. Thank you so much. I will of course be reviewing all of this stuff in the future and I will be creating some uh, makeup looks and exciting jazzy things using the Isla stuff and the Shine Shack stuff. And oh my God, I'm gonna be wearing the hell out of this. So do subscribe so you can keep uh, in the loop with all of my reviews and things. And hopefully I will be doing some more unboxings in the future. I will see you in 2018. Thank you so much for watching guys. Mwah. Adios gamers and gamer readers.